the benefit of me being here in person is uh, seeing all of those uh, names that you've heard of or seen on YouTube and you get to see them in real life, you get to interact with them, you get to ask them questions, you get to understand that they're really nice people. All right, um, what am I talking, how I learned, or how I found the time to finally learn Emacs. Um, before I tell you how, or how I'll tell you how, is I'm gonna teach you a little bit of rest. <laughs> so three years ago, I was bored, um, and I went home, and I'd, I'd been watching a lot of CPP con talks, and there was this language that kept coming up in the corners and I wanted to know more about it. And you've probably written a program like that. It's not very interesting. You've also may have written a program like this. Your coworker has maybe written a program like this. Your dependency has maybe written a program like this. You've maybe lost a weekend trying to figure out why you ship some code like this. But I don't, I don't do that anymore. I have time for other things. You've been hearing a lot in this conference, this is the next thing, you've been hearing a lot in this conference about how powerful it is to reflect. How taking in an AST and admitting an AST can allow you to do very powerful things. I may not be enough of a wizard to write reflection, but I can use it. But more than anything, it's this. All those other things are just details. With this, I no longer toil in the minds of CMake. <laughs> and I have time for Emacs. <laughs> you too can learn a lisp. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>